Okay, here we go. Hello friends! I have another spoiled little girl for you today. So I did some digging and I've entered a whole new world of spoiled brats. That is the pageant world. Are you beautiful? Yes, I am beautiful. And you called me up. You said I was, you thought I was beautiful and I'm always beautiful. <laughs> So upset. Oh my God, you asked me if I was beautiful? You questioned for a second that I wasn't beautiful. That's why you asked me. I'm Melissa and my six-year-old daughter, Brenna, she's back. So this is the mother. This is the final boss that asked to speak to the manager. She got the hair, the floral blouse, the earrings, the highlights. You already know what her daughter is going to be like. Get out. Okay, so we got a sassy little pageant girl. I'm Brenna, I'm six years old, and I'm a grown up now. Woo! Only in 2019, six years old can be all grown up now. That's why we got 13 year olds acting like 21 year olds. Six is the new 18, right? At least in pageant years. Where'd you get all your prettiness from? Uh, I was born this way, I don't know. What's different about you? I'm bigger, I have brown hair, but I was little. Duh. Okay, I know she's cute and all, but like, what she gotta have an attitude for no reason? What's different about you than all the other pageant girls? I'm bigger. She out here flexing her brown hair. Like, I had brown hair when I was little. Bruh, me too. I had brown hair when I was little and when I'm older. Same with 95% of the rest of the world. I have to give autographs. When you get famous, I'll make some money on this here. She's so snooty when she does autographs, like, I'm famous, I'm perfect, you are nothing but peasants in my presence. There you go. Yes, I'm the royal robe. Down. Oh, yes, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. She really made her dad kneel down like, down! See what I tell you, even her parents are peasants that bow before her. How'd mom pick up this one? She probably spoke to the manager so many times that she complained enough to convince him to marry her. We have done probably a good 250 pageants since that pageant three years ago. 250 pageants in three years? Basically every four days, they're doing a pageant. That's a lot of pageants. That's more pageants days than days that I do something productive. Now, servant, you will polish this tomorrow. Polish? Yes. She got a dresser full of crown calling her dad. Peasant. Peasant, you gonna polish this tomorrow and cut daddy over here like, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. How you gonna let your child get away with talking to you like that? The battery's not charged up enough. And daddy, just charge the stupid thing. Okay, all right, well. Charge it. We'll, charge. we'll put some charge in it. What a little monster over here. Daddy, charge it now. It's not working. Okay, okay, hold on. I would smack my kid if they talked to me like that. What a demon child. Curse you, daddy, because you didn't charge my pink Barbie Jeep. Oh no, whatever will we do? I get it. She paying her parents' bills with all these pageants, because that's the thing. Not only does the kid win a crown, but they win money. They win like thousands of dollars. And it seems like the more bratty you are, the more you win, you know? I've been binging these videos like the past few days, and that's what it seems like. The most like obnoxious girls win the most. She has to go to the bathroom. Okay, Daddy, run to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Those ladies, right here. Okay. Get out of the ladies. Nobody likes you in the ladies. Get out, Father. You don't belong here. This is the ladies' restroom. Nobody likes you in here. Awesome. Who's a limo for? We want to do something special for Brenna. Something that she would never expect. We want to do something special for her, Brenna. You know, instead of a limo, you could have got a belt. That's what that girl needs. You know, she could still compete in pageants and have a personality without disrespecting her parents, you know? Just a thought. That's your ride back to the car. Back to the pageant. <laughs> yeah. Was that a child or a spawn from hell? Daddy, give me a soda pronto. Yeah, okay, I will. And a snack, pronto. Okay. Is that you? Mm -hmm. 
looks so pretty. Thanks. Oh no, don't gas her up like this. Like, Daddy, I need a soda and a snack. No, oh, thank you, Daddy, oh my God. My parents are so amazing for getting me a limo. Just no, just cousin, fetch me a snack, fetch me a soda. I am a celebrity, I'm a celebrity, cause I am the best celebrity. Daddy, what about my soup snack? Get my snack. Okay, well we'll get a snack at the hotel. Damn, he told you. Finally, daddy's standing up for himself. It's like you tell her no, what's she gonna do? Start screaming, start crying. That's what duct tape's for. Get out of my room. Brenna gets upset. You know, um, mom gets upset too. Where is the manager? Where is the hotel manager? Where is the TLC manager? I would like to speak to the CEO if my child is upset. It's okay, let's just get her dressed. Okay. No! Ooh, I thought I was gonna have to bleep a six-year-old for a second. <laughs> Brenna, I'm helping you. I want you to get dressed, baby. No, I don't care about the pageant. I don't care about the pageant. <laughs> Relatable. You ever get so mad, so upset, the thing you work so hard for, you just like, I don't care about this. I'm done. You six years old. You too young to even know what stress is. Get those cameras away from me. What did I say? Get those cameras away. Bro, I think she possessed. You see that head turn? That was about to go a full 360. Looking like a miniature showgirl. Why is that me? Starts running, gets a head start. Last one there's a rotten egg. Where we're gonna go? So she's just as Cleopatra, and she sees another baby girl on stage dressed as Cleopatra doing her dance. You already know she ain't having it. Brenna! What? She's Aphrodite. She's Aphrodite. It's different. If you copy someone, you better do better. Ask me more. Oh, oh, that little girl is Cleopatra. Oh, no, 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 honey. No, no, she's Aphrodite. <laughs> I can't with this little baby drama right now. It's so petty. Uh, Brenna is full of drama. Mother, I mean peasant, go speak to the manager and have her eliminated. Send her to the ranch. Some people don't like that kind of personality, but... Those people are jealous. Y'all hear that? You don't like her personality, you're just jealous. I mean, I will admit, her personality and everything, it's, it's fun, it's entertaining to watch. Would I like to deal with a child like this? No. Then you're just jealous. Of what? Okay, we got this girl over here from Kingman, Arizona. I'm Danielle, I'm eight years old, and I'm gonna prove I'm the best at roller coast. Okay, we got Danielle, eight years old. Damn, she don't look eight years old, but this girl got an ego bigger than my YouTube channel. Like, mommy gassed her up a little too much. She won both the highest titles at the same pageant. Yeah. Mommy had never heard of that happening before tonight. <laughs> what was that dreadful noise that came out of her mouth? <laughs> You have to get your beauty sleep. I don't believe in that. Because I'm always beautiful. Because you're always beautiful. And so modest. <laughs> Grandma got jokes. But see, when I tell you, y'all gassing her up too much. You know, it's great if your kid is confident, right? But this is a little too much. If I don't win this pageant, I will trash the hotel room. Little demons, I tell you. Little, little, very small demons. I will trash the hotel room. Takes toilet paper, throws it across the room. Take that. Her dream is to be famous. She wants to be famous. And she is a beautiful child, so if this in any way can help her achieve any kind of fame or anything, in the future, it's worth it. I feel like if you want to be famous so bad, it's not gonna work out. I don't know, those are usually the kinds of people that have <laughs> nothing to offer and they're just like, I want to be famous! Does something stupid. Bam, famous. That's our generation for you. Oh, or also, you can go on Dr. Phil, you know. Bam, instant fame. When I get my makeup done, it's kind of tough for me to do it because I know I'm pretty, but if I have to do makeup, I'll do it. It only enhances my natural beauty. Like, I don't need this makeup. This makeup need me. She can get a little diva attitude on pageant day. She does sometimes, you know, get a little agitated. And she's like, she's a baby. 
Oh my god. So there is a baby in this pageant competing and she sees the baby and throws a hissy fit that there is a baby there. Take your spotlight. She's not taking your spotlight. Yeah, she is. She, she's probably giving me on TV. I hope they cut that out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have news for you. Future boyfriend going to be snipped. Like you so much as look in the direction of another female. Hit a little boy. Ooh. I hate to see what she would do to the competition. Oh. And then go give her mother the fist of death. This girl's gonna end up in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, Grand Supreme Gold Coast, Arizona is What <laughs> year old? The baby doesn't even know what's going on. Literally in a diaper, possibly pooping itself as we speak. <laughs> I was a little upset. I think it is unfair. A tiny baby that can't walk, talk, show any kind of emotion, winning overall high point, a thousand dollars. Baby doesn't even know what's going on. Like, oh, what's going on? How does a baby win a pageant? Don't y'all got like age divisions or something? Can anybody just like have a baby dress them up in a dress? Like, <laughs> what does the baby do for like the talent portion? Watch how quick I can chug this bottle. Mm, 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 mm. All gone. I can't believe she's on stage like <laughs> crying. Why is that me? <laughs> I think it's really not fair that a baby won a thousand dollars and it can't even sing or dance or do nothing. The baby can't see. Did I hear that right? And it can't even see. The baby can't see. The baby can see you crying though. And be like, why is this grown little girl crying? Well, I'm gonna just sit here. I get my crown. I get my sash. I get a thousand dollars. Who's the baby now? I didn't win any of them. Take a <laughs> You're gonna cry in the interview after. Ah! She's upset. She's really upset. Like if you laughed. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below if your kids talk to you like this, what would you do? And if you guys enjoyed and want more spoiled kids, make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.